What's going on, guys? It's me, Kill, back with another video. And in today's video, I'm back with some more Legendary Fire PvP. So, yeah, I haven't done Legendary Fire PvP in a pretty long time, and I finally made the furnace pet that I wanted to in the last pet training video that I made. So, yeah, I just decided I'd do some Fire PvP today. But, yeah, I'm just going to show you guys the gear. I'm using the uh, Waterworks hat, the Zigzag robe, uh, Professor Sword Pack boots, Staff of Flashing Blades, Dual Stata, no, Dual Fatal Razor. I always say uh, the Daredevil ring first. I don't know why. Then the uh, Health Amulet, Dual Daredevil ring, the Furnace Pet. I made this one in my last pet training video, so if you haven't seen that, go and watch that. You can literally just click on my channel and you'll probably see it right away. And then I'm using Rock Mount because that brings me up to 100% pip chance. Also, this deck, this brings me up to 25 accuracy, which makes it so I can't fizzle my, uh, my, um, like literally any of my spells, I don't think. And then here's my deck setup, pretty small. It makes it so I can pull my Vengeful uh, Efreet when I need it. And yeah, my side deck, nothing really special. I'm not using minus 90 Efreets, even though if I was using minus, minus 90 Efreets, it would be a lot easier because only having one minus 90 Efreet is kind of bad. Like it's it's not always the best because if you can't, if you don't pull that when you need it, and you have to keep it in your deck, which is the worst part. Like if you need a discards if you really need to discard something and then you can't discard it because you have to keep this e free it gets pretty bad like i lost a couple matches to a, i lost a lot of matches to deaths today it's it's crazy deaths were filling the queue today i'm not even joking but yeah all the stats come to 99 damage 39 resist 25 accuracy uh 49 percent crit 10 pierce and 101 pip chance okay i got a match we're going up against ryan skull hunter from his pet, it looks like a storm, but his stitch kind of looks myth, so I'm not really sure. Okay, yeah, he is a myth, so I am definitely going to stun block. He is only private, though, so I don't think he is going to be able to win. Plus, he has lower health than me as a myth. Well, actually, no, that's not that surprising, but I think he has to be a higher level than me because I'm commander and I'm level 65, so he has to be at least, like, 70 or something. But, yeah, I'm going to stun block right now so he can't get, like, some Medusa thing off me in case he does know like how to actually pvp so yeah stun blocking is really good there oh he did put on two different blades if i'm being honest his pet probably doesn't have any damage talents so i'm not even really worried like if this was a normal myth i would probably just shield but like right now i'm just gonna blade because he, he probably doesn't have that much damage so it doesn't really matter okay yeah he's just using amplify if i pull an e3 i'll just use it this should do a lot of his health anyways, and it gives him the weakness so that he can't really do much apart from, uh, like, wand if he wants to. I mean, his hit will still do a lot through a 45 weakness, but this will still do a lot to him. He doesn't have any resist. Jesus Christ. Oh, that literally just one shot him. <laughs> okay, I feel kind of bad. I mean, why do I crit against that? Like, out of everything, like, I crit- I, I like, literally never crit anything, and then, like, when I go against the one guy that- doesn't really need the crit i just crit against them it's kind of stupid okay i got another match we're going up against sean ward it looks like another death and i think they have a uh, myth mastery okay this person is really low rank though which is kind of weird um i am gonna stun block right away though because they do have myth mastery but i'm they have like they have normal health for a legendary and he's really low rank so i don't really know but he's his stitch is pretty nice though Honestly, he's probably not that bad of a player. Okay, he's blading off rip. Literally, I'm just gonna blade two. Um, if he goes for like a headless right now, I could stun into a uh, E Street, which would do a lot. We didn't even get an elf. What? We have so many elves and I didn't even get an elf. That's actually really unlucky. What's he gonna do? Stun block maybe? Okay, he's gonna fire shield. An elf right now would be ideal. But I guess I'm going to have to shield right now. I should be able to pull an elf this round though. So that should be good hopefully. Okay I didn't even pull an elf. This is actually really bad. If I don't pull an elf, an elf next round I probably just die. I'm not even going to lie. I need an elf. And I didn't even get a furnace. Like please pull an elf. Okay finally. I'm going to elf him into like probably vengeful Efree. I don't even know if I'll be able to stay alive that long though, because right now if he deadlies me into an, a headless, I think that might just kill me. Poison into headless might just kill me. Okay, he didn't even do any of that. Okay, he's stun blocked probably. Why? That was his worst move. 
Okay, so maybe he is an actual private because that was a really bad move. All I'm gonna do right now is uh is elf. This only used one of our blades. We critical that too. So this should actually do a decent amount over time after it takes the second uh shield off. So we're probably okay, I probably am gonna go for an E free this round if he doesn't shield. Cause if he just goes for a hit, I can literally, I have an open E for you with a blade. That's actually really nice. So I'm going to start pulling, hopefully to pull a, um, I wasn't even looking for a triage, but like, I, I wanted to pull a, a brim. So, but I should be able to pull one either way. What's he going to go for though? Uh, okay. Okay, he's definitely a private. I didn't, I, I didn't think he was going to be this bad. Okay, no, that sounds, that's, that sounds really rude. I'm sorry. No, I didn't think you, like, I did Okay, because Bone Dragon is not a good move because a lot of people carry a triage. So, literally, I'm just going to triage this off. Like, an e free right now would be a really good move, too. But this is just too much value not to tri uh, triage off. So, I, I'm going to triage that off right away. Let's see. Yeah, 800. He can't kill me with a headless even if he crits, I don't think. I have too much, uh... I have too much resist. I have like 39 resist. There's no way a headless kills me. We got another elf too, which is what I wanted. We still have that vengeful e free, which is the minus 90. So yeah, I'm feeling pretty good right now. There's nothing he can really do unless he has a uh, vengeful ser seraph on his pet. Okay, yeah, he did go for a shield, but I'm gonna shield too, just so that he can't get like an open vengeful in case he does have that on his pet. Oh, and we got the furnace cast. But I was also gonna say if he goes for a poison, then I. Oh, we got Brace. I mean, yeah, Brace isn't bad either. But yeah, let's, let's just see what he goes for. Because if he goes for another shield, I'll just Elf again. And if he uh, if he goes for like a Poison, I'll just Vengeful Seraph. I'll just double, not Vengeful Seraph, I'll Vengeful e free And I'll just literally just double e free I guess. Okay, he infouled. I'm just going to uh, discard, discard. I shouldn't need anything. I'm just going to... Uh, I'm just gonna vengeful e free right now. This should do a lot. It's the minus 91 too, so he can't really do much. I mean, we have a shield on right now, but this is still gonna do a lot to him because it's open. It might just kill him, honestly. Actually, I think he has enough resist to survive this. Yeah, 2400. We still have the elf in our hand in case he does go for a shield. So yeah, we we're just fine. Okay, he went for a vampire, but he has the minus 90 on anyways, so he's not gonna get much health back from this. Yeah, 28. There's no way. He gets the, what is that, 14? Okay, that's fine. We can probably elf just to straight up kill him, but, um, no, that definitely kills him. Okay, I'm just going to elf. I'm not going to waste my, uh, my TC. If this doesn't kill him, I'm so stupid. We didn't even crit. Please say this kills. Oh my, I actually might have messed up. How much health does he have? Wait, this doesn't kill. Wait, does he kill me? Oh wait, that killed barely. That killed by one. Bro, if I if I didn't kill him right there, if I did not kill him right there, that would have been so that would have been so bad. I mean, he he he, he almost survived. That would have been crazy. Okay, I got another match. We're going against Jason Frost Wraith. There's so many deaths in queue. Like I'm talking so many deaths. I faced way too many deaths today. It's actually crazy. Um, I'm just gonna stun block right off rip. Uh, I, I like my hand kind of. I mean, I need an elf and a colossal. That would be ideal next hand. But okay, wait, we got either furnace or brace. Brace, that's not even that bad. Because they usually blade and then like poison early on. So having a brace up isn't even that bad right now. Okay, so he did something that's uh that's like stun shields or whatever. No, wait, whatever. Sun shields, sun shields. I'm going to say stun shields. But they're probably stun blocks most likely stun blocks but i'm gonna blade right now and then probably elf soon because if they aren't stun blocks then obviously you want to take those off before you hit okay i'm gonna bulb right now because i still want to keep my hand so that i can pull a colossal i mean right now bubbling isn't the it's not the worst move but it's probably not my best move a shield or something or like another blade would have been nice but okay yeah we pulled a colossal which is nice okay he actually changed the bubble so i'm actually okay with uh just changing it back he does have a decent amount of pips now but just changing the bubble again to keep bubble control is pretty nice right now because that will give me a lot of damage and if i end up getting furnace later once my brace runs out i'll have so much damage okay he was fast with that he did a poison right away we have brace up though 
for like one more round. Oh my, that kind of sucks though. He got a virulence cast. Okay, um, this is going to be a bit more tricky now. Krampus, I'm going to actually enchant that. Our brace runs out this round. I am going to go for a fire elf. I'm going to fire elf right now, just so that we have that overtime on him. Our brace runs out, but that poison overtime is probably only going to do like uh, 350, I'd say. We didn't even crit that. Okay, yeah, those are stun blocks. 500, though, on the first hit. That's not even that bad. I'm sad that we have our, our brace ran out, though. But we're probably going to have to shield or something. What's he going to go for? Maybe a maybe a shield? Or he's, he's just going to go for a blade straight up. He doesn't even care. Oh, no, he's going for a bubble. That's a good move. That's a good move. Um, I'm probably going to save my pips because I do want to be able to uh use a vengeful seraph i mean a vengeful e free i keep saying vengeful seraph but i do mean e free um i'm probably gonna have to shield okay hold up i'm gonna play this somewhat risky because if i think i tank a crit headless i'm pretty sure i tank the crit headless okay we didn't get the furnace but i think we tank a crit headless so right now uh, if he if he goes for that headless, I'm just gonna eventually e free him, and then we're in a decent spot if if his headless actually doesn't kill me. Okay, he's shielded, but I'm just gonna shield back then. Our our overtime's gonna take that off. Is I think this is the last round of his overtime though, right? That would be good if it is. Okay, that's really good. So now if he hits me, okay okay okay, I need to pull an elf right now. Please pull an elf. Okay, I pulled an elf, no enchant though, but the elf is the main thing that I needed. So right now, if he doesn't shield, then I'm going to go for the Vengeful Ifrit. Okay, he is going for a shield. It sucks that we don't have an enchant, but I definitely do need an elf right now. So I am going to go for the elf. Um, Yeah, there's no reason why I shouldn't. A wand wouldn't be horrible. But yeah, I'm going to elf right now. I mean, an enchanted elf would have been much better, but if we crit this, it's still going to do a lot. It takes off our blade, but we kind of do need the overtime on him right now, just to keep up the pressure. Okay, and we got the uh, the furnace. Okay, that's really good right now. Right now, depending on what he does... Okay, what can he even do, though? Because, okay, I got the... Oh, wait, that's that's literally all of my cards. I have to start pulling now. Um, What's he going to do, though? Like, literally, what's he going to do? He's going to hit me, I think, right? He's going to... Okay, poison. That's fine. Unless he has... um, If he has whatever... If he has sacrifice, then we're kind of... That's kind of bad. But if he doesn't have sacrifice, then I think we won. All I have to do right now is use my e free. It is a minus 90, which is kind of... Uh, it's, it's like... I mean, it's on the pet, though. At least I'm not using TC minus 90s. Like, I'm not that bad. But if we crit this, we might just kill... Okay, we crit it. We didn't crit anything else, so I'm not really that mad. I'm not really that, uh, uh, whatever. Like, have you ever had a dream that that you, um, you had, you, you, you could. I'm messing up my words so badly. If he has sacrifice and we just lose, wait, what? Oh, okay, he's just wanting it off. Okay, we're fine. I thought he, like, stunned me or something. I was like, that's not going to do anything. But, oh, wait, no, I had stun blocks up anyways. Okay, we're fine. I'm actually, okay, I'm so happy because I got Warlord back. But also, uh, but also I beat a death. Like, deaths are actually so hard to beat as fires. I mean, I had not a minus 90 e which is kind of like, uh, which is kind of like against, it's, I, I, I say it's against the rules. It's not even against the rules because they keep it in their game. But like, still, I did it. Ju I, it just feels wrong using them. I mean, if I still, I, I still feel like I would have won this match even if I used the minus forty-five right there, because he wouldn't have been able to kill me with a um, with like a headless. I don't think. But yeah, there we go. Warlord back. I was at nine sixteen today. I lost so much rank, but I'm so happy I got Warlord back. There was way too many deaths in queue. Like I'm telling you, the deaths were literally just ruling the queue this entire day like i faced way too many deaths and i could not beat them deaths are just way too broken okay yeah i'm just gonna end the video off on that 
I did not expect to get Warlord back. Like, once I lost it today and I was going against all these deaths, I did not expect to get Warlord back. So, yeah, I'm just going to stick with Warlord right now. My record really suffered today. Like, I was at, I was at, like, 40... I was at like 39 and 13 or 14 or something like that and now it's I'm at 18 losses that I lost so many times to deaths like I lost to I think every single loss was to a death actually I might have lost to another school but literally all the only ones I remember are to deaths which is kind of annoying but yeah if you guys enjoyed then leave a like and subscribe and I want to keep doing more uh fire pvp but legendary fire is actually so tough unless you carry n minus 90 e freeze in your side like just having the one inside of your uh inside of your main deck is not like it's not it's not the best because you kind of need the ones in your side so you know you can always pull one but yeah if you guys enjoyed leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time